What's up guys, it's Lucio Dixie and welcome back to Survival Man's Avengers! And on last episode, we actually visited our best, 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 best bear called Longshot BTG and we played an original game mode that he actually goes ahead and make called Hide and Seek. And we were also joined with Minigod and Spy Boys, but today is a yet another building day. So last building session was remedial work, fixing the village basically, which is very important to basically train you guys to say don't destroy it, just adjust it and make it look better. But today I'm actually going to go and see what the villager wants us to do today. So uh, Cemento, how's it going mate? You right, mate? How's it going? Uh, high five. Hi fuck boom! <laughs> I'm sorry, I always have to do that. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, oh. Anyway, guys, so basically, we're going to go make tuna today, and uh, Cemento is going to be the tuna. No, I'm actually joking. Oh, he was probably worried back then. So, where's Sky? Sky? Oh, he seems to be away. We'll probably see him in a bit, but not to worry. So, let's go down here and see who is down here. So, Minecraft guy, how's it going? Computer um, and stuff like that. Uh, Wait a second. I thought I didn't. I thought it was a statue. Hello. Pleased to meet you, MZ255. Oh, well, what's this all about then? How come she's in your room? Hmm? What's this nonsense? <whistles> Is there something going on, Sir Minecraft guy? You're not telling me, MZ. You know Lion wouldn't be happy if you found out that you. Oh. Oh, I get it. This is a surprise. Oh, God, for a second there, guys, I thought something horrible was going to happen. I don't want bunnies and rabbits running everywhere. Bunnies and rabbits? That's the same thing. What am I talking about? I do. Of course I don't want bunnies and rabbits. I don't want dogs and rabbits running everywhere for a second there, but pleased to meet you, MZ255. Of course I know who you are. Everybody's probably thinking, you know who she is. You've been in your episodes. She is. She's absolutely wonderful, and she's actually considering on uh, building a burrow here, aren't you? So that you can actually go between the uh, the burrow that you work and live at and, uh, you know, come between my place. Wouldn't that sound great, Tuna? <laughs> He's just looking at me. You call me Tuna one more time, boy. I'm going to cut your face and I'm going to stick it in a frying pan and I'm going to fry that frying pan and then I'm going to do this with a frying pan and then I'm going to do that with a man, 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 and we're under ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, Oh god, that really hurt my head. No, it didn't really. So let's go and see what to do now. Um, guys, so if you come follow me, we can go and meet uh, the villager. Let's go. Okay, right. Don't worry, I can always turn game tags off like this. Deduct the time, Elliot. I'll tell you how many seconds to deduct off when we when I say action. Okay. And three. Two, one, action. Okay, guys, quick, quick, quick. MZ, go that way, go that way. Follow Sir Minecraft guy. It's come on, tuna fish. I mean, Cemento. <laughs> Quickly come this way. He's going to absolutely kill me if I keep going on. So, anyway, hello, villager, villager. Hello, everybody. You have done an amazing job on the old village remedial work. Have we actually? To be honest with you, we did spend a lot of time. Well, look at everybody. Everybody's come back. I'm actually really proud of you. Well done, Nancho and guys. Well done. Oh, uh, well. Well, actually, it wasn't just, just you know, me and all of us. To be honest with you, we, we couldn't do with actually going peeking into the uh, the old survival madness world from Lion and time to time, and actually getting some tips from them. Oh yes, totally, totally. They were really good at doing survival. So, um, what do we do today? Um, oh yes, yes. Come with me. I've prepared your stuff. All right. So let's go down here. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. I don't have all day. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. So, number two, have you, hold on a minute, have you realised that it's gone from four to six? Yeah, I can't count to five, so I just went number six. You can't count to five? Nah, so number six is like, you know, number five. <laughs> You're really silly, village. Yeah, no, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, today is build a train station. Well, actually, guys, I haven't been totally honest with you. We've actually, well, MZ has actually helped us out for quite a while now, and, uh, you know, I said she was a surprise. It was a surprise because I actually found out that she actually helped out build the frame with the train station. Isn't that right? That's why she's actually here. Um, yes, she did actually build the, the frame for the train station. So, guys, we can actually show you where that frame is right now. And uh, we can also teach you. And she's going to teach us. MZ is going to teach us how to actually build the train station. How, wh wh why even have a train station? Like all the fundamental points that we're gonna do. So let's go and crack on with this train station. Okay, well, um, I'll see you guys later, bye. 
So, oh yes, we have to pull the liver down. Let's pull this liver down. Ah! There we go. Oh, look, there's some minecarts. There's some stone bricks. If you come in here, MZ, down here, and Sir Minecraft. Oh, you are down there. <laughs> look, they're just right behind me. Well, I'm such an idiot. And you get some equipment, some stuff that you think is going to help you. There's some redstone here as well. Um, there's some boxes here. But let's have a look at the tools because I don't tend to get all the equipment straight away because I want to show you guys how certain things do. So what do you do all the time when you're going to do a starting in a building session? You get a diamond pickaxe, a diamond shovel, and a diamond axe. You, well, you just need the tools with you just in case because you don't want to waste their health. So if I go over here because you guys are probably thinking... MZ was meant to be a surprise. She was a surprise because actually she did this. This is the surprise, the frame. So she didn't build the whole train station because what the trick is with a train station is it's just a building. It could be a museum for all I know. You guys don't know how it could be a train station. So what you do is if you come with me because MZ actually built all the walls around here but we've actually added a couple of adjustments that you guys probably are probably wondering well how is this a train station well look you see these colors red blue orange green yellow and pink now they can go to different areas for example red could go to my house blue could go to the hall of adventurers orange could go to the crunchy munchies place or so on so forth so it basically helps you guys indicate where to go so that's where we got we also got spares just in case they get stolen by an enderman or something and also we've got a bunch of rails that we're going to place and light up this area so um i wonder where sky is if sky was around here that maybe he could help us. Oh, there, Sky! Hello! Hello! Do you know what? Jinx. That is so ironic how he just comes as soon as I say that. But, Sky, you, you've seen this place, right? You know all about this, don't you? Well, I know what you're really good at. I can see it's getting quite dark, but we can work through this. You're really good at working on the roof. So, basically, if you come over here, there's a lot of odd stuff in here that you could basically flat the roof. So, as I was saying, guys, do you remember me saying that this could be anything? So, this bit basically states this just one bit is the reason why it's a train station you have your things that go down into a tunnel which this one's patched off because we're not using it and this one too and this one and this one but not this one and not this one this one actually goes to my house and the blue one actually goes to the hall of adventurers now where can the orange one go where can the green one go where can the yellow one go now that's all digging sessions that we can do with our Pickaxe. That's right. Isn't that right, guys? Our pickaxe. That we like to go and hit people with. Oh, I don't know what I just hit into me. I think it's the building. You know, sometimes. <gasps> Ow. That really hurt. That really hurt, sir, Minecraft guy. Yeah, it's not very nice. I'll take your biscuits away from you, you silly little boy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So the objective is today is building the train station. So you guys know why we have a train station is because of this segment over here. The fact that it digs down and goes to places with rails and minecarts, obviously. Now, how can we make this a step up, guys? Well, I'm going to give this job for Cemento here. I'm going to throw Cemento these signs right here if cemento you pick up these signs and i want you to write on this patch right here this little clean patch right there nitro loot dx's house then on this one hall of adventurers and then basically what it is for the viewers for the people that come into your world that don't know what the red one goes to you actually have a written place as well so you're actually helping the viewers your fans whatever they may be to actually locate and go to places quicker and you know you get chunk lag on xbox minecraft you guys want to get to places quicker so these are the fundamental points of building a train station so as you can see sky's getting straight into it now i'm going to give sir minecraft guy the objective of doing the rails towards my house mz as you've built the frame you've done a lot of hard work me and you okay are going to really quickly uh, actually no 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 actually what we're going to do is you're going to build the floor Okay, so what reason why we have a floor is so your feet don't get eaten. <laughs> I'm only joking. The reason why you don't build a the reason why you build a floor is because you want to walk on it. So actually, I'll actually help you out on this one, MZ, because we can get through this really, really quickly. If you go into there, you can get some stacks. Now, the reason why you also have a um, a frame is because you need to know exactly how big your building is. For example, this wall. That ceiling, that wall, is all a frame. <gasps> zombies, I see zombies coming out. <gasps> I see a creeper, this is not good. I've got the bottle bar, come! I killed it, I killed it, I killed it. 
So you guys sort of have an idea why you build a train station, basically to get to places, but how do you make it feel like a loot, uh, sorry, a train station? How do you make it be a train station? Well, it's all these fundamental points by actually giving the rails, giving the you know the fundal information so last episode or last building episode was about repairing work and not destroying it and actually making it look better now this is actually trying to get to places easier and giving people a little bit more information to where you guys need to know you know that i know that you know that i know that he knows that she knows where to go okay oh i'll kill you <laughs> Okay, now for out the boring stuff, let's be normal Nitro Loot DX. Work, MZ! Work! 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 If you don't work, MZ, I will take your carrots and I will give them to Sky, and Sky will make nuts and carrots and make a stew, and then we'll put a bunny in it, and then we'll make Sir Minecraft Guy eat it, and then he'll have a big poo, and then he'll eat the poo, and then he'll eat me, and then he'll eat you! Okay, so basically guys, I'm actually going to see what Sir Minecraft guy is doing with the rails because I know that there are two rails and this is also the really important per- uh, sorry, not the person, the really important thing as well because, as we all know, the rails are the things that get you to the places. So you guys need to build rails, you need you guys need to build power rails, you're going to need redstone. I'm not going to teach you how to actually build like, you know, the you know, the right redstone torches in there. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's just trying to get the concept of trying to build things that benefit you. This today, guys, is actually a learning process of building things that are going to actually help you in Minecraft. Like you think, oh, what should I build today, John? And John goes, I don't know. What shall we build today? And then basically you're gonna well, you know, this is what you should build today. What's going on here? What have I done wrong? Hold on a minute. This is stupid. This is silly this is. Hold on a minute. Wait a sec. Maybe that did work. Yeah, I was being a silly biscuit. Look lol la 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 Or I don't know. I don't know. Oh no, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. God, what am I what am I like? I'm trying to teach you guys stuff, but I am actually learning as well. I'm not even like teaching, like I'm pretending that I know what I'm talking about, but really I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I'm actually really stupid. Oh god. So also I'm really glad that MZ came as well, because she's actually thinking about connecting her burrow to our world as well like i heard that we could also get to lion's world through that burrow which is really really amazing too oh mz decided to go and see what the rock is about don't worry mz it's okay it's okay you don't have to come down here but um you you're more than welcome to actually help us out do this last bit um so basically i'll throw some power rails and what can you do for me oh yeah can you help me put the rail ra uh, sorry the power rails in the right place so if there's too many normal rails, replace it with a power rail because obviously I'm a dum dum and I'm not very sure where to place it. I'm sure you want to do at least 10 rails per one power rail, maybe even 15 normal rails to one power rail. So actually, let's go see Sir Minecraft guys since MZ's doing a great job down there. Uh, jumping up the steps, I have big pecs. What are you doing? What are you doing, Cemento? You know me, Cemento. I'm gonna give you the job to do the interior work. Okay, Sky Lethal, you're doing an amazing job on that roof. If you could keep working on the roof, if we need more blocks, don't worry. I don't expect that we'll finish it in this episode, but obviously by the next episode, you'll see this all done up and how it turned out. But it's just important that you guys know that a train station needs tracks, needs minecarts, and needs places to go. Oh, yes, and Cementa is going, we Nitro, we need buttons. We need buttons, Nitro. Okay, Cemento. All right, I got you. Look at me, Cemento. Let me translate for you. Ready? Everybody imagine that Cemento's speaking right now. Um, hello. I'm speaking for the first time. And I think you need buttons. Yes, Cemento. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, I've actually been picking on Cemento today. I feel bad, but do I feel good? Um, so today, today, today is all about a little bit of building, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now, let me actually show you the size, guys, because you're probably wondering how big do you need to make a train station? Well, really, you can actually build it as long as you have that little bit down there. That is your train station. This right here is just a frame. And, oh god, 
Let's translate for the zombie. Let's do a little bit of skit today. Translate. I'm gonna eat you, mate. I'm gonna eat you. Look, please don't eat me, zombie. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna rub your eyes and, and make them all itchy. No, please don't make my eyes itchy. I'm gonna itch them. And then I'm gonna lick your eyeball because I'm really like that. Please, zombie, don't lick my eyeball. I'm gonna lick it. No, stay away. I'll hurt you. No, you won't. You would have hurt me already. <laughs> no, please don't hurt me. Oh, no, I can't help it. I'm damn dumb. <sighs> I'm feeling weird today, guys. If I'm weird today, leave me a like down below. If you think I'm actually, like, crazy, crazy, you know, like, you, I need to just get bonked on the head by a giant lettuce or something. Um, I don't quite know what... Oh, hello, doggy. Hello, little doggy. Let's translate for the doggy. Um... Excuse me. One second. That was a zombie's voice. Uh, let's do the, the doggy again. Oh, hello. I'm a beautiful doggy. And you'll think it's okay. What's this bright light over here? And oh, look, a bunny. She looks really tasty. Um, doggy, can you not say that about the bunny? <laughs> okay. I will, oh, oh, look at this wall over here. Oh, I'm just going to run away. And I'm just going to... Uh, what's that over there? Um, I don't quite know what's over there. It's a bit of glass. Oh, oh, is it? It's quite lovely. That glass over there. It's good. Oh, oh, he's, he's basically saying he's ready now. So after I did all that stupid talking, now I'm actually ready to uh, to do the old cut. Right, are you ready, sir, Minecraft guy? Are we ready? Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's see if this actually takes us to the Hall of Adventurers. Are you sure it's going to work? Wait, wait, do you have to press the button? You're not going to ruin the bar. Oh, God, what did you do? Oh, what did I do? I don't know. Press the button. Oh, God, I just got out again. What is going on? Button. It's not working. It's not working, mate. You messed it up. You put the button in the wrong place. You said you put the... Ems it. Ems it. Oh, Cemento did it. The Cemento. One second, Cemento. Guess what? Guess what? Look at me. 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 Oh. oh, wait. So, oh, it's this one that works. Oh, in my house. Right. So, uh, I press the button in three, two. What What are you doing? What are you doing? One second. I've got... Wait, let's actually... Look, I can't even do it. This is... Ah! Ah! Where am I going? Oh, this is quite nice. This is so beautiful. that he just put power rails. Look how many power rails. It was like, I'll just put power rails everywhere. Oh, look. I'm in my house. Look at that, guys. I made it in some more house. And I'm all okay. Oh, maybe I need to go back as well. Hold on a minute. They're sending minecarts through. Oh, God. Oh, Sir so Minecraft guy. Didn't show up there and then. Uh, let's have a look at this, shall we? Oh, let's get back in it. Come on. Push me. Push me, Minecraft guy. Oi. Oh, he's, he, I think he's lagging in the old chunk lag. But push me. Whee! Oh, Cemento. Or MZ. Push me back. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, guys, basically, we're going to go to the Hall of Ventures, but I hope you've learned something today, which is basically the fundamental points of putting places in correct places. Also, how to use a train station correctly, which is just basically tunnels with the correct names, with the correct colours, and also, you know, a really nice tunnel would be nice for you guys as well. And you guys are learning so much important stuff. I mean, I'm learning this with you as well, guys. If you think the building is good as well, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the building. I know that the building isn't everyone's cup of tea, but this week is about building week. So, also, let's go to the Hall of Adventurers. Hello, and we're in the Hall of Adventurers, and this time we're joined with the MZ in the Hall of Adventurers. No one's actually really been in there. Oi, what's this? What this girl's down doing in here? I should have seen this when I worked in here. Um, so... As you can tell, Cemento's not here, so it's going to be another dolphin girl in there. Oh, I mean another dolphin boy. I'm, uh, I mean another tuna. I mean another thing. I mean another this and another. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go. Let's go and see. Let's go and see what this is inside of me. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, Sir Minecraft guy. How's it going? Where's, where's Cemento? Where is he? Cemento. Cemento, where is he? Oi, Cemento, where, where, oh, there you are. I couldn't see you with all this blue. Oh, I could really. No, no, no. So the person is called, oh, whoop, 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 5,000. What name is that? Whoop, whoop, 5,000. So 
The reason why this person has actually been added is because we haven't actually had a story for Cemento yet. So the story is on screen now. Cemento's story. One day, a big dolphin was born and his favourite toy was a fishing rod. He was happy and one day he got caught by the boy named Nitro Luke DX and the dolphin couldn't stand and couldn't breathe. Luke called him Cemento. Then two months later, he was captured by a shark. And so was the Crunchy Munchie. So Luke and Sir Minecraft Guy helped save them. Cemento's story was written by Hunter or the gamer tag. That's correct, guys. So that is why this person has been added. Is He wrote a nice little story for Cemento. And also soon, the big squirrel statue and all that other statues will be in place. So you guys can have more than one person to choose. I mean, obviously, you know, you know that I'm the one to choose, you know what I mean? But uh, guys, if you thought the video was good, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, guys... Have a good day and thank you, MZ, for coming in. Goodbye!